talk about the GSM architecture. So in, in, in deploying a GSM system, there are three major subsystems. Radio subsystem. And that's the usual uh, mobiles and base stations. You have the network and switching. System. And that does, um, that basically takes all of the mobiles and base stations and turns them into a network. So that does things like routing calls, uh, it does handovers, and it interfaces. system, PSTN. So basically it, it, it links all the radios together and it interfaces with the outside world. Uh, the third subsystem, which we won't talk about beyond just mentioning its name, the operation subsystem. This does things like um, security, Authentication and billing. So the radio subsystem. It consists of three major components. Well, actually, let me first say uh, base stations are organized into a base station subsystem. Rather than having individual base stations uh, as their own autonomous units, what GSM does is it organizes them into a hierarchy. So an individual base station subsystem will consist of several base stations. The tasks in which are divided between uh, what's called a base transceiver station. Station controller. Or BSC. How does that work? That's the way to see this is on a figure. So this will be figure three. Cells, a bunch of them. We'll draw three, but a whole bunch. Within each cell, the base transceiver station, the BTS, basically handles uh, things like radios, antennas, signal processing, amplifiers, and whatnot. 
and there's one of those per cell. So this is basically the cell tower, is the BTS. Within each uh, cell, you will have your mobile station, or MS. Bunch of them. So that's each individual user with their handset roaming around inside the cells. All of these uh, BTSs are linked together with a base station controller. cell tower that, that, does, that does all the radio tasks within an individual cell. The BSC links all of these guys together, and there is, there is where, whereas there is one BTS per cell, there is one BSC per base station subsystem. So we can see that this is all organized hierarchically, and this, this should remind you of back when we were talking about the network layer, this should remind you a bit of cellular IP. that in fact, um, cellular IP exploits this existing hierarchical relationship within, uh, within network technologies like GSM. Okay, uh, the mobile station, the MS, that's just your handset. And it is technically a part of the radio subsystem. Um, and it's Aside from implementing all the receiver side functions of the, uh, of the GSM protocol, it does one interesting thing, and that is it contains a special chip called a what? Anybody know? SIM. SIM, it's a SIM card. A subscriber identity module. So as a subscriber, the SIM is basically you. So in principle, GSM is designed so that you can take that chip out of your phone, put it into a different phone, and uh, um, have basically your entire identity transferred over to that phone. <coughs> in other words, um, if, you're, if your phone breaks or something and you don't want to uh, bother with phone number or something, you can buy a new phone, stick in your SIM card, and everything should continue to work exactly like it did before. Uh, it works the other way, too. So if you don't, if you're going to be in, let's say, Europe for a month, and you don't want to pay ridiculous roaming charges, yank out your SIM card, buy a new one over there, stick it in, and you're basically a 